Good day everyone. Today's video lesson is about motion graph, in particular velocity versus time graph. So just like your distance versus time graph, we have here time is always running along the x-axis or the horizontal line, while your velocity is placed on the vertical line or the y-axis. Okay, so this time let's going to see the common slopes of velocity versus time graph. First, we have constant speed or otherwise uh, known as steady speed or steady velocity. So here, it's important to note that there is no change in the velocity. Even if time goes on, then the velocity is stuck on that particular level so meaning there is no increase or decrease of the velocity uh, even if time is moving that is constant velocity or steady speed next what about this one the graph or the slow is moving or overlaps with the x-axis which is the time okay so what does this graph suggest? And yes, you're correct. It is zero velocity or the object is not moving or it is said to be at rest. Next one, what about this? When the graph suggests diagonal slope, so what does it mean? So as you can see, the velocity is increasing and so with time. So this suggests that the motion of the object is undergoing constant acceleration. Or we have a steady increase of velocity per unit of time. There is a constant change or increase of velocity per unit time. Okay, that is called constant acceleration. And take note that the graph is always straight diagonal okay let's have this example uh, you have this description of an object in motion the object moves at a steady speed for six seconds and stay the rest for 10 seconds so construct a velocity versus time graph out from this description okay so this is our answer so we have here, first we have the vertical axis, which is V, and then for time or along the x-axis is for time. And we assume that each interval of time here suggests 2 seconds. So we have here 0, that's 2, 4, 6 seconds. So what happens then? The object moves at a steady speed for six seconds so we assume that this particular level is the steady speed or the constant speed which is moving for six seconds and after six seconds the object is at rest that's why as you can see at that particular time after six seconds the slope now is running across the horizontal axis which is uh, suggesting it is not in motion or stay at rest for 10 seconds. So let's count if the object is really at rest for 10 seconds. So each interval is 2 seconds. So we have here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So that's correct. The, ob the object is at rest for 10 seconds after it was moving uh, with a steady speed for 6 seconds. More examples of this one here. So let's analyze the motion of an object. So we are given position or this is distance versus time graph. Okay. So first we can see that the object is moving 2 meters in 1 second. Then later on, uh, it is moving from 2 to 4, um, from 2 to 4 meters in with an interval of 1 to 5 seconds. So 
this suggests if you can remember with our, our lesson with distance versus time graph this suggests change in speed so it's not diagonal straight but you have a curve slope so it suggests change of speed so first of all we have to find out that that speed or that velocity in a particular time so here two meters in one second so the speed or the velocity is two meters per second and what about this from two to four seconds so that's the distance is two meters and the time is from one to four or i mean from one to five seconds so four meters or i mean uh sorry not four meters two to four that's two meters divided by four seconds so there is a significant decrease in speed there so how will we show that in our velocity versus time graph so that is at first one the first the first low here suggests two meter per second that's why it's two meters per second and that is moving for one second so it falls on one second and after which from two to four meters that's four me uh that's two meters and the time is one to five seconds so that means four seconds so two divided by four our speed is 0.5 that's why it is uh moving on this particular horizontal line that suggests 0.5 meters per second for one to five seconds okay so that means that's how we are going to translate distance versus time graph towards velocity versus time graph we determine first we determine the speeds or the velocity and then after we determine then we can apply that in our velocity versus time graph okay more of this so let's say the object moves at a steady speed for six seconds and goes back to its starting point with the same steady speed so unlike the previous one it is not moving uh not moving back towards the starting point instead it is continuously moving away from the starting point so how can we make a velocity versus time graph that suggests the object is moving back to its starting point so this one it, it, this one will reveal the graph that suggests the object is moving back to its starting point okay so there it is so you have your velocity versus versus uh, time graph here so the uh, vertical line for velocity horizontal line for time so here it, it it didn't give us an exact number of how much is that constant speed so we just assume it's somewhere in this level so let's say this is the constant speed that run uh, for six seconds so let's assume again that this each interval is two so two four six so that's the steady speed for six seconds and then later on it goes back with starting point with the same steady speed so how will we show that the object is moving back to its starting point yes as you can see there it it runs or it passes the midline of the graph so here it passes the zero reference line that suggests it is now under the negative velocity okay so your negative velocity is not uh assuming or the, the negative velocity doesn't mean that the value is less compared to the positive velocity the positive and the negative sign in physics specifically for motion only suggest the direction so if positive sign if the positive sign suggests moving away from a starting point then the negative sign means moving back to its starting point or if 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 positive sign means moving to the right that means negative sign means moving to the left okay that's what it is your positive and negative signs are indicating are are are, are symbols that indicate direction 
Okay, same thing here in our example. So it is moving at steady speed for six seconds away from the starting point. Now it goes back to its starting point. That means it is now uh, under the negative velocity. So here, same speed, same steady speed for six seconds. Okay, so that's how we're going to draw or construct a velocity versus time graph when the object is moving back to its starting point. Next one. Okay, let's analyze this example. So given the distance versus time graph, first you have here this, this particular speed, and then second is the speed that goes back to its starting point. So the first speed is moving from 2 meters to 4 meters. So the distance is 2 meters. And the time it took to cover this distance is from 0 to 2 seconds. So that means... 2 meters in 2 seconds. Next, the second slope, the second speed here or velocity is from 4 towards this or towards this point. So let's count. So let's have 1, 2, 3, 4. That's all. That's 4 meters. And that's 4 meters in 2 to 4 seconds. So that's 4 meters in 2 seconds. Okay. So let's now going to present the velocity versus time graph. Okay, so as mentioned earlier, so the first velocity, that's the distance is 2 to 4. That's, that means 2 meters and the time is 2 seconds. So the first one is 1 meters per second. Since it's moving away from the starting point, that is a positive velocity. Now when it goes back towards the starting point, it will move across the zero line moving towards the negative velocity and that velocity is uh, four meters in two seconds so that's two meters per second so it suggests negative two meters per second meaning that is the velocity that the the object is moving going back to its starting point Okay, now I go. I hope you're able to get these examples that I've shown earlier. So this time, it's you that you that you. It's your turn to answer these items. So task number one is to construct a velocity uh, versus time graph from the given distance versus time graph. So position or distance, they are same they are taken as same meaning so here you are also given a verbal description so that you will not be able to you can you can draw up specifically the motion of the the object so from this this is where time graph make a velocity versus time graph out from this slope okay so that's task number one so you can uh, write your answer in a piece of paper and when you're done, you can take a photo of your answer and then you can submit it in the Google Classroom. Okay, so task number two. Okay, so for task number two, instead of given the graph, you are given a data table. So this is data table. First one suggests time in seconds and distance in meters. Okay, so out from this data table, you are going to construct a distance versus time graph and from distance versus time graph you will also trans go you are you will going to translate that in velocity versus time graph same thing you can write this in a piece of paper and after which you can take a photo of your answer and submit or turn it in in our google classroom Okay, thank you so much for listening. Always remember, keep going, keep growing. King Hoan Learnings, embrace learning.